So we have here a, uh, a React.js project we just created. Let's open it up with our favorite um, IDE. All right, let me close this. Close this project. And let me open up a brand new project uh, under uh, Genunzi, under Web Dev. Let's see, Web Dev. The Web Dev 2020, 4500. And here it is. Our, here is our client React. Let's open that up. Say OK. All right, so if we open that up, um, notice that my IDE has created this .idea in there. See that? Uh, that's a, that's a, um, um, uh, the, my, my IDE's specific directory. We don't want that either in our source control. Right? So in your git ignore, you'll notice that node underscore modules is listed there, meaning this is telling git that I don't want that directory to go into my source control. Yes? My idea, I don't want that either to go into my source control. So let's add that in there. Uh, dot idea uh, idea there it is uh, so that that doesn't go into my source control all right because you know we might have different uh, different uh, uh, IDEs right so we don't want to store anything specific to that to the, your current idea IDE uh, what else we have here okay let's uh, let's go in there let's peruse through here um, let's open up our public if we look at our public actually no we 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 created it let's run it let's see what what this looks like we um, Let's run it. We can run it by using npm start. So npm start, npm is also part of the Node.js uh, package when you install the Node.js tool. Uh, npm is also a Node package manager. It, manages, it allows you to install packages, download libraries, and things like that. Um, and it also allows you to run uh, uh, projects, right? Uh, so, look, so this is the boilerplate project that, uh, that Facebook gives us. Right, as a hello world to get started uh, in implementing. Notice that we have an image, we have some text, and a hyperlink. Yes? All right. So let's take a look in the, in the, uh, in the project. Uh, here is the index page. This is the index page that we're going to navigate and never are going to leave this index page. Right? So if we, if we peruse through this page, we'll notice that it's, all, it's mostly empty. Right? We have a couple of meta tags. We have a couple of links in there right? in our head. Um, notice that when we get to the body, it's almost empty, right? We have a no script that only shows up if you have JavaScript disabled, which we don't. And, and the next one is a div, which is empty. Completely empty. There's no content in there. Where's, where's the image? Where's the text? Where's the hyperlink? They're not in there, right? Uh, but notice that that div does have a unique identifier, root. See that? that so what React does is that it, you're going to create a whole bunch of components. In particular, you're going to create a top level component. Right, that's going to be like the container of all your components, right? And then it's going to, from that component, you're going to reference many other components, okay? And all those all those components are going to work together to inject dynamically into that div, into that root, right? So let's take a look at the top level component and, and how and see how uh, it's uh, accessing that that root uh, root element, okay?